Hi and welcome back to Quinwell Paw Creations tutorial videos and today I'm going to share another um, session of our Zoom class that I have with my uh, beating circle with my F Facebook group so just want to invite you if you're interested to come and um, learn with us so today I'm going to show how I did a pair of beaded sunglasses with the group I used Nymo size 0 beading thread, size 13 beading needles, and Gorilla Glue, Mod Podge, and Clear Nail Polish. So I'm going to thread my needle, and I'm going to leave about a 5 or 6 inch tail. And I leave that just... Uh, on there just so I have something to hold on to while I'm starting the score stitch beadwork. Um, depending on the size of your, the width of your sunglasses and the arm of it, um, I'm going to start with two beads at a time. Put on the first two beads and pull them up close. And get them situated and I'm going to go back down through those two beads and now the square stitch will be done I'm by adding two more beads but I will be going back through three and when I'm Pull those up through there and get them nice and snug. When I come back down through, I will be going through one of the beads from the previous set of two and through the two beads I just put on. So I will go down. So I'm going to go up through three beads on the previous row, catch the one from the previous set of two, and come back down through those three. I'll put two more beads on, go back up through three. I will come back down through one of the previous set of two and the two beads I just put on. So back down through the three. And I have seven beads. And so I'll put one more bead on it. I'm going to go all the way back up through the whole first row. And then back down through the row I just did. And that will get me back to the spot to start the next row. And put on two beads and go down through two to begin the next row. And back up through. Put two more beads on. And come back down, catch the one bead from the first set of two, and go back through to be going back through three. So I started a little bit of piece. 
to um, attach to the glasses. And this Gorilla Glue doesn't set immediately. It takes a little bit, so I have time to adjust the beadwork to where I want it to be. Put some pressure on it to hold it there. And these shirts where I want it to be. And then I will continue doing the square stitch right onto the glasses. And two beads at a time, just like I did before. I can't see these beads because they're black, but it's just continuing that square stitch. And I do it the rest of it on the glasses I'm kind of slip off. <laughs> you might want to wait for that gorilla glue to set before you continue on I just didn't <laughs> for this because I was in the beating circle so um but I do the beadwork onto the glasses so that I'm able to follow the shape of the arm in case I got a different shape of glasses every time so it's just gonna keep working that score stitch on and continue with my pattern And then I just work a little bit more and then I'll glue that section down and then I glue it down and get it set where I want it to be. I leave that tail back in when I'm finished. So another section, just continuing with my pattern. And I'm going to add just a, a light layer of that Gorilla Glue. Not a whole lot. Just enough to do it. But be sure you're not getting any on that last row of beads. And then I continue on the arm of the is decreasing to uh, match the shape of the glasses and I work all the way to the end I'm gluing it as I go um, it needs to set for about 24 hours for that Gorilla Glue to set good and then I mod podged the glasses I used small sponge get a little bit on there and just spread it across the beads getting it in between there it just provides a sealant so those beads stay together and just brush that thin layer and then I um, wiped it with a paper towel just to get excess off because you just want it to be in the Mod Podge to be in the beads but you don't want to have a lot of excess um, I'll take that sponge and work it in and then I the Mod Podge was matte so I took nail polish and it on a layer across and so it'll be shiny with the cut beads so thanks for watching um i believe i didn't say i used size 11 cut beads for them so come by and join our being circle if you would are interested um, i have a zoom meeting every sunday at 1 p.m pacific standard time so 
usually try to have a new project every week. Or you can stop by and visit my website at www.quinwellpawcreations.com and I am starting a newsletter for um, tips and techniques if you don't want to use Facebook. So, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you and I'll see you next time.